Yeah, really cool atmosphere. It's been several decades since there's been a basketball game in this building. So fun to be a part of, but these players on both sides, they're just excited to play somebody else. They've been going against each other in practice for several months. Yeah, we talked to Steve Forbes before the game. He says, my team is sick of seeing each other. <laughs> they're ready to play, and we're underway. Steve Forbes was telling us before the game started that it was a big boost to his program to get him back. He was in the NBA draft for a moment. Salas makes both the free throws. It was a 78% free throw shooter last year. Now Sears drives to the basket, and he'll be fouled. On the defense, and Mark Amore, Alabama fans excited to see him, the big-time transfer from Rutgers, but they stayed with the big man, and Mark able to get to the rim and get to the line and convert. Pepperdine, where last year he averaged 14 points per game. The runner won't go for Stevenson. And you got bodies on the floor. Here is Sears for his first three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Yeah, inside out, LeBaron foul. Back on offense. Nice pass by Sears. And Stevenson gives one to ball. He's not afraid to fire it up there. Well, we've been waiting for to see if you would see Holloway and Mark on the field on the court together, and you are. Sears and Holloway both out there. Wearing crimson and white in the freedom that comes with playing for Nate Oates. Long distance by Hunter Sullivan. To get better on that end of the floor. What they, we know what they can do on the offensive end. Darian Reed with a long distance shot, and he is fouled. I don't know that he can duplicate those numbers because he's not going to have to play quite the minutes because of the depth of this team. That's what I was to play high minutes because there was not a ton of depth, especially in the backcourt. He's been one of the big surprises in preseason camp. So you've got games for him, Brian. I mean, he didn't come off the floor in some games, and now early on you see a shift with Alabama without him on the floor, but country a year ago at Rutgers. Yeah, he had almost three blocks a game, averaged eight points, ten boards, and three blocks a game. You take that line from him every night uh, for Alabama. Yeah, and it was rim protection that really yeah. hurt Alabama a year ago, and they get that in a big way with a boy. There's the Sir Cunningham. And Nate Oates, he, he doesn't like it if you miss his Holloway. The game, you know, 90 seconds in the back end. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think Nate Oates, Steve Forbes are, are all trying. Uh, you want to see who can play together and if you can play these point guards together at the same time. The ACC, Steve Forbes have been so close to the NCAA tournament. They've been top 35 in Ken Palm two out of the last three years and have just missed the tournament. And Tyler Johnson, the point guard from Louisville, Louisville didn't have a lot to be excited about a year ago, uh, but Tyler Johnson was a bright spot in the ACC. But And they actually got an Alabama player in, uh, in Davin Cosby, who got his uh, Final Four ring in the pregame ceremony. Yeah, pretty cool moment. Pre-game. Mentioned several players unavailable for the Crimson Tide tonight, but he did get the start, Millet did. Nice put back by Omaha Blue. This Wake Forest team, he's got five points now. Long rebound. Nylon can't get it to go. He's the freshman out of Mobile again, started tonight. Everybody excited to see him play. Newcomers to this Crimson Tide team. Tremendous recruiting class for Nate Oates. He sizes up a three, can't get that one to fall. He'll try it again. Looking for his first points in a Bama uniform. And his first points come in way of a three-pointer to give Alabama a four-point lead. And there is a block by Mo Diabate. You mentioned the lack of rim protection sometimes for the Crimson Tide. Diabate did provide that as he could. And does it again there. Sears fouled on his way to the basket. He'll shoot free throws. Well, Diab, the coaching losses that that league has taken the last five or so. Individual players want to play well. They're vying for playing time. Both deep teams. And there are players that want to get minutes. Long distance three from Fredrickson. <laughs> I hope they're watching their guy, Parker Fredrickson, during that three. He thought about pulling it up again, and Holloway cut him off, so he throws it away to Alabama. As Stevenson comes away with a steal. And Al to leave his name in the NBA draft, so Alabama did not have that, but now you have Cliff Amore, you have Aiden Sherrill. Uh, rim protection is not going to be a problem for this Alabama. He couldn't get the three to go. Fredrickson thought about pulling the trigger again from long distance but instead dumps it off to Johnson who turns it over. Now here's Holloway in the open court and he lays it in for two. 
John Calipari moves from Kentucky to Arkansas, and a lot of players have followed him there. Rebound and put back by Mo Diabate, the sophomore from Queens. Brian, it seemed like he was a fan favorite last year because of his effort. His effort, his attitude, his toughness. And without Mo Diabate, Alabama doesn't win the Grand Canyon game. He almost single-handedly won that game late where Alabama had injuries and foul trouble. Mo Diabate, nine huge points late in that game. We're not talking about Bama as a Final Four team without Mo Diabate, who as a freshman didn't get the minutes that he probably would have liked, but he stayed with it. He stayed positive. He was ready when called upon, and he's going to have I think a big opportunity on this team because of plays like that. Hustle plays, uh, he doesn't need you to run offense for him. He doesn't care about how many shots he gets. He's just gonna bring toughness on both ends of the floor. Yep. And you go back a couple of years to, to Alabama's SEC regular season tournament championship team, and you had Mark Sears and Javon Quinterly playing a lot of minutes together. So, uh, Nados has proven that he will play two point guards and can be effective in doing so. Amori pulls down another board. And there is a three by Mo Diabate. Just as you talk about them not having to run blades through him, he drains a three. And, but he's worked really hard on it. And I love the fact that Nados lets him shoot. You're yeah. going to play that hard, you got to open three, let it fly. Sears locked up with Hildred. Great defense by Sears and Hildreth out of frustration fouls him. And you look at Mark Sears, he is fired up about that defensive play. I love that this is an exhibition game and look at the intensity of Mark Sears. Talk about Mo Diabate's toughness, but physical on the defensive end. Mark Sears gets the strip, the frustration foul by Hildreth and Mark Sears excited. And that's an area that he wants to get better in here is a fifth-year senior. That's the defensive end. But even in an exhibition game, like seniors, your leaders, but a guy that has had the success in Bama roster, some freshmen, some transfers, and when Mark is taking a game. Amori gets the block, but Abbas with the lay-in off that block. Now here goes Diabate to the basket again, oh. and he gets that one to fall. What a play by Mo Diabate, and he'll shoot a free throw. Alabama led the country in scoring a year ago. It's because they push it after makes, after misses, and Mark Sears running the break. Nobody stopped Mo Diabate, and the circus shot knocks down the three. Behind his head, wasn't looking, takes the contact, and what an incredible shot by the sophomore. Shame on me. I, I was already just assuming with the new roster that Diabate would lose minutes and stuff, but. You know, he's looked, he's gonna, how do you keep him from not playing, right? Everybody is playing hard, competing for minutes, and Mo Diabate, he's looking around and he's gonna have to do those types of things to be on the floor, and he's doing them. He absolutely is, and that was a drawn charge by Darian Reed. And let's talk about that for a second. Reed is a freshman. You come in as a freshman, and you're able to make this type of play defensively. Well, you know, talk about the depth of Alabama, the talent. Darion Reed. It's taken right back by Wake. And here goes Salas again. Oh, my goodness. That ball is knocked away and saved by Reed. And now a dunk on the other end by Amore. What a play by the freshman. Darion Reed's crowd has come to its feet. My goodness, the block and the save. What a hustle play right on cue. Darion Reed starts the Alabama fast break with the athleticism, the hustle, and then the big man running the floor, Cliff Amore with the throwdown. Alabama has struggled a little bit in this game against a good Wake Forest team. Wake has made it tough on them, but Bama right now getting stops and turning it into offense. Okay, so, so there, there is the alley oop to Amore, and it all started with the play by Reed, but what a finish. Absolutely, but to show you the, the mindset of this team with all the work on defense, they all ran to Reed first instead of the guys right. that dunked the basketball. To make that block and then have the head space 
to also make the save back in bounds, Brian. I mean, you could make a block and celebrate. Ball goes out of bounds and everybody cheers, but he never gave up on the play. Yeah, incredible play by a freshman. Listen, a, a five-star, McDonald's All-American, as we talked about. But those are the types yeah. of plays uh, that earn you playing time and that propel you to be the type of player you want to be. All these guys want to play in the NBA. Darian Reed, a potential one and done. Got to do it on both ends if you want to play at the next level. And he is doing it here early in his career. Yeah, a charge in a preseason game. Then he had a block shot save that set up the dunk. Pretty good 45 seconds. Not bad at all for the freshman. And it gave Alabama their biggest lead of the game. On to Wake. Drain that three just a moment ago. The runner won't go, but there's Amore with the board and the dunk. And that's the rim presence Alabama has been looking for. Well, we've talked about Midnight Madness type event last week, but nothing like this. And also, you're not used to sitting on the bench. And guys right. are trying to buy for us. Rotation minutes here. Life on the bubble, right? They couldn't yep. get off the bubble. And listen, Alabama fans, remember the Anthony Grant era. You had several teams that were right there. A one seat in the NIT is not where you want to be. And unfortunately, Wake has been right there in recent years, but I don't think that's going to happen this season. Stia Arena, but this is a packed house with an active crowd. They've enjoyed what they've seen here. And you understand why. Nice pass and Salas with a reverse layup. Yeah, a guy that we probably thought was going to be in the NBA this year. Wake Forest fans glad that he is back and went some oh, 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 oh. What a gorgeous pass by Sears. And then Phylon, and then Reed hammers it home. Oh, what a play by a couple of freshmen. Reed showing you his athleticism. I've been very impressed with Darion Reed. Played well defensively, and then gets the nice pass from fellow freshman LeBron uh, Phylon. Yeah, file on the surprise of preseason practice so far. Got the ball inside and threw it up. Reed as he yeah. continued to float in the air and throw it down. LeBaron Phylon, part of that talented Alabama recruiting class. And there is Aiden Holloway with a three. Boy, and everybody who watches this guy play, if he ever gets his shot going on a consistent basis, think he'll just look, blow up. Look at the smile on his face after he makes that three. He's playing defense right in front of us. Big grin on his face. He's feeling it. As the clock runs down, the three will not go, and that will get us to the half. Very entertaining first half of basketball at Bama and Boutwell. It is a preseason game that has been played with regular season. Sometimes it feels like even postseason intensity here. And Alabama is up eight, 46-38. Boy, a, a half that Alabama had to enjoy the way they played, Brian. Well, love the energy by both teams. Highly competitive. Yes, it's an exhibition game, but both teams excited to play someone other than themselves. They've been practicing. You can practice now over the course of the summer and the fall. It's a little different than, it, than it's been in, in years past, but these teams competing at a high level, getting after each other, and Alabama starting to get into a flow on both ends of the floor. A lot of new faces that we are seeing for the first time, but there's an old face there that is back for the Crimson Tide. Bama up at the half, 46-38 at Bama and Bowell. You know, Salas and Sears saw a little bit at the NBA camps, uh, the draft camps before the draft this past year, both of them coming back to college. Cameron Hildred. His yeah, shooting yeah. wrist, and he, he was able to play through it and was effective. He's healed up and should have a really good year for Wake. Nice give and go by Amore. He can't get it to fall, but he'll shoot free throws. Trinity and Mark Sears, yes, he can score, but he's also unselfish. And Alabama with a third chance opportunity. Sears off the inbound, thought about it. Now he'll do it on the move and drains it. And Steve just the inbound, much to the chagrin of the Alabama head coach. And the lay-in by Spillers. Oh. And here comes Hildreth with some interesting action. Dumps it off to Salas. And Salas hot again. Successful head coach at East Tennessee State. And he has been right on the verge of bacon, breaking through to the NCAA tournament in his five years at Wake Forest. And Morey picked up that last foul. And now on the turnover, it's knocked away from Diabate. But he will be fouled. 
earning minutes here off the bench for Nate Oates. Here is Holloway off the inbound and gets it back. And now Sears, an NBA three. And it touches nothing but nylon. Sears. Look like Mark Sears. Hoosiers movie at, at their home gym before they get to the big arenas. This is like when they're, you know, running, running practice and stuff. And Moray with a massive block again. This is a guy that at Rutgers averaged three blocks a game. Can't get it to fall. Lob and a jam by Trayvon Spillers, the Appalachian State transfer. Jing moves is leaving your best players on the floor. <laughs> and I know this is exhibition, but it is hard to take Mark Sears out of the game. There's two big guys going at it, Diabate and Abbas, and to Chris Stewart and I on the Crimson Tide Sports Network. You're going to know where I stand during the regular <laughs> season on some calls. I've so. never heard Chris get on. It's an in-game experience for them, and both coaching staffs excited to see. Johnson dumps it off to Salas. Salas has been the star for Wake. That is an air ball three from the corner by Davin Cosby, the former Alabama player. And here comes Darion Reed, who had a tremendous first half. He can't get the runner to go. But he is fouled and is going to head to the stripe. He gets back to the line. 6'8", 200. And nice touch at the summer, playing for USA Basketball. Won the gold medal with USA under eight good enough years. An Alabama fan to where he has a chance to go pro after one year. Holloway dumps it off to Stevenson, and he'll get fouled this year for the Crimson Tide. Jaron Stevenson, the sophomore out of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. In the a big rivalry on the recruiting trail, on the court. That's part of the Alabama schedule in the a really good sophomore season. But he is tonight, two of six from the field, one of four for three. And those numbers, you, you want to go up if he's going to shoot, right? And he's got a head coach. 60-53, so, the Crimson Tide leads it here at Bama and Bowell. Sold out crowd, enjoying a very entertaining game so far between the number two preseason team in the nation and one of the favorites in the ACC. And there is Mark Sears. You don't give him an open three. That is such a beautiful, well-executed play. Out of the timeout. To inbound as Johnson tries to get it inside to Spillers, knocked away. Diabate dumps it off to the left, and he drains it. Shooter. Well, well guess what? Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> I got good news for you. Nate Oates does not want you to take many mid-range shots. So Houston Millett, a guy that can really get it going from deep. He does have four personal fouls here tonight, though, so he has to be careful or he will not see the end of this exhibition game on the floor. Still out there as Sears now resets the Crimson Tide offense off the pick from Holloway. The Abate thought about pulling the trigger. Now Holloway, a wide open three. Hammers at home. Final four. Five of those top ten teams in the new look Big 12, by the way. Yeah, it's a pretty good conference. Bylon, lost it, got it back, lost it again, and now is fouled. Listen, a lot of people would tell you that that meant football. One through 16 now with Oklahoma and Texas in the mix that I haven't seen in my 30 plus years of following SEC basketball. Bylon. Mark Pope back at, K at Kentucky, Alabama and Auburn leading the way. It is going to be an incredible year in SEC basketball. There is Phylon off the miss. What a nice move in the paint. Um, around eight minutes to go here in the second half. Stevenson, the give and go from Phylon. He's hit on his way to the basket, but he is able to finish. Boy, we have seen that from the Crimson Tide a couple times. Just the old school give and go. Shows it on that as he goes, takes the contact, and completes the three-point play. Stevenson. Yeah, he's 5'11 against 6'11 yeah. Stevenson. It's a bit of a mismatch. And now Stevenson has it swatted away by Reed. And here comes Phylon on the break. Doesn't have the numbers. Takes it himself, though. And Sears with the follow. There's another miss from the paint. Stevenson can't get it to go. Phylon to Holloway. The three is good. Love the effort by this Alabama team. Three opportunities. Not able to convert at the rim, but the... None are too serious, should have everybody back. Youngblood probably out the longest of that group. It looks like December before he is back. Here is Holloway with a nice feed to Sears. He's going to kick it back out to Phylon. The three is good. What makes Alabama so dangerous. The other get out and transition. You got four and five shooters all over the floor that can get going. Here's a takeaway by Holloway. Dumps it off to Sears, and there's that lay-in you've been looking for. 
Defense leading to offense, and Mark Sears, strong and a high basketball IQ, makes the right decision when attacking the rim. Nice jumper by Hunter Salas. He's got 16. That's 61. Alabama has turned it on here in the last three minutes. Yeah, all and five now Holloway from long range. He's feeling it right now. All five guys on the floor right now have played over 20 minutes in this exhibition game. Yes, it I is. Holloway. Did not That's, think twice, did he? That was tough. Is a form still a number of starters on the floor now. Holloway, another long range three. Sears gets the long board. And now a three on the way for Phylon, and the freshman drains another one. Step in rhythm threes here tonight. Stabin Cosby with another made bucket. For Cosby had 15 in a win against Ole Miss when he played for Alabama. Nobody expected that from him that day, and that was his one moment to help them get a W last year. Three on the way from Holloway, and we talk about his green light. It never turns off, does it? Holloway to the basket. Nice floater high off the glass. And Aiden Holloway has got 20 to lead all scores. Chris drains a three. Bama up 95-72 now. Here is Holloway with Sears off the floor. Holloway running the show here for the Crimson Tide. Now Millette with a three, and he wow. drains it. My goodness, it's just a barrage for the Crimson Tide from outside. Now it looks like an exhibition game. I mean, it's 19 <laughs> made threes, though. We'll kick it out in the Crimson Tide. It's just oh. gonna let it run out. The Abani thought about pulling the trigger. He didn't do it. Nato to the chuckle as he walks to his friend Steve Forbes. And he's gotta love what he saw. 98-77. Yeah, Alabama, number two in America against